Hi there. <laughs> Twice in two days. My goodness, you're going to be fed up with me, aren't you? Uh, I've also made a very short video of uh, the patio furniture. It's not got the cushions on it because the cushions are safely stored in the carriage because I didn't want them to get wet. It's not a brand new set, but it's new to me and that's fine. As you can see, I'm wearing one of my new to me dresses with my tights on today. Um, well, what did I do today? First of all, <laughs> I wanted the scissors, don't I? don't think I can do this without scissors. Sorry, dentist, if you're watching me. You didn't see me do that. I was always getting told off when I was a kid by my dentist for biting cotton with my teeth. I can't do it. <laughs> I used to use my teeth for everything, that's probably the reason why I've got such tiny teeth now. I was hoping maybe that Sue would come today, but... Uh, oh, for heaven's sake! I really don't feel like going over there to get some scissors. I'll tell you one thing, they don't have packaged this one well. <laughs> I can't get in it at all. Cannot get in it. I think you're going to have to excuse me while I find some scissors, otherwise you're just not going to see what's in this packet at all. <laughs> this is why I want a taller sofa, because I can't get out of it. Oh, that was a strain. I should mention that my poor knees are just saying, why did you walk round? Ikea. I feel like I've walked a marathon because everything's hurting and aching. Like in the good old days when I used to walk the dog for miles and the day after I couldn't move. <laughs> right, here we go. I'm opening up this flat package. It's another colour in that boho spirit. I've got one more colour to come, I think, yeah? Oh, no, that is. Do you know, I'm ordering them off... Um, you know, illustrations on uh, the page, and the, this one looks horrible. And let, look how lovely it is. How lovely. It's shades of greens, golds and browns. Beautiful. Again, it's not got a colour name. I don't know what it is called. <laughs> There's no show without Gigi, is there? And it's called Boho, Signet Boho Spirit. And I think it's absolutely fabulous colours. So I've now got three colours in which I've got to make shawls with, although I might decide to change the pattern. I think I'm getting a bit fed up with doing the virus. The cardigan that I said I wasn't keen on and it hadn't sold, so I decided I'd alter it. It's still in the process of being done, but it's now going to have pockets and it's going to be trimmed with this mink colour, mink brown colour, which I haven't stitched on yet. I'll show you those. It's going to have nice brown buttons on it and I took the collar off. See this is the beauty of making your own stuff isn't it? <laughs> now Sky wants to sit on the sofa. She's limping poor girl, she's got arthritis. So now it's going to be a round neck cardigan with pockets and it's going to have the yeah, edging done in brown on sleeves which I haven't quite finished and I don't know where I've put the button I was going to show you that I was putting on it but I can't find it. Right, the postman brought me this book today. I had got one sock, crochet sock book already but uh, I watched Sonia from um, Cat Crazy Creations I think she's called and she um, said how easy this was. Now it probably is easy but it's done in the extended double crochet which I don't like doing. I forget halfway through. You sort of have to pull it up and then go through and then go through again. I mean to me it sounds a wee bit like a half half double crochet. Sorry it's single crochet it's not double crochet. Double crochets if I'm in England. 
So I might just do it in ordinary single crochet because you know you want a sock to be quite close together, don't you? I tried that extended double um, single crochet before, and I kept forgetting how halfway through what I was doing. So parts of it would be in one stitch and parts of it would be in another stitch. And that's another one that's in it. I dare say they are fairly easy to do, it's just that I don't like doing this extended uh, single crochet. That one's offset cables. I don't like those, I'm afraid. I think they look too bumpy and uncomfortable looking. And that's called Falling Pineapple. I can't wear crochet socks, I don't know why I bought the book. <laughs> Except that it might be nice to make them for somebody else. Uh, that's a sideways sock. I have got some crochet socks. I'm just very bad at wearing socks. I've got some nice fleecy ones that Jennifer sent me. It's Wish Upon a Stitch, nothing to do with fairies. <laughs> Jennifer Ellison. But she hasn't made a video in so long, so I've forgotten what she was called. So come on, Jennifer. Right, this one is called Textured Toe Up. Again, I'm not sure if I'd want texture on my socks. I've got very tender feet, I must have. I don't like things underfoot. You know, I can feel a pebble when there's not one there, you know. This one's called a Three Colour Shell. This one's Tunisian stripes. I really haven't looked into how you would do Tunisian in a sock. Because I always think of Tunisian as sort of going backwards and forwards. So there must be a seam in it somewhere, I presume. Ah, invisible seam, it says at the back. So there must be a seam in it. Again, I'm not keen on those, whatever they're supposed to be. Not my kind of thing. These are feather and fan, they're quite a nice lacy stitch at the top. Gigi's decided to desert me because I wasn't sitting nicely for him. And this one is called a hidden rib. Hidden rib. Family are not here, they've gone to the house. I've got the dogs today though. It's called Annie's Crochet, New Methods for Crochet, by Ron Strong. And those are, sort of, I presume, samples of all the socks that you make in there. I would probably really only ever use the plain ones, but that's by the by. What else did I get? Well, I got a surprise box. And uh, it was from Sharon, Sharon in Wales. You know, Sharon, thank you very much. Now I think it was Sharon who made me a Christmas one of these last year. If it wasn't you Sharon, just let me know. <laughs> but I think it was Sharon and it had like red and white and green pom-poms and it's still upstairs. I packed it all away and um, it'll be ready for, you know, this year. Anyway, this one is lovely, isn't it? It's got a reindeer in purple. It's got the glitter balls with purple and silver and all shades of purple. She knows me so well. That's lovely, Sharon. Thank you very much. It's a bit squashed with being in the box, but I'm sure they'll revive. <laughs> I'll give them a fluff before I put it on the door. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that gorgeous? You're so talented, Sharon. That's lovely. And also, she sent me a card for my birthday and a Christmas card. She sent a little gift for Sue, which of course Sue will open when she comes next time. And you must have known what I was going to wear today, Sharon, because she sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. And in the dress, there's just shades of this colour, you know, in the little leaves. I started off with orange beads this morning, like a dull orange colour. And then, of course, when this arrived, I thought, oh, I've got to put that on now. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. 
And then, what else arrived? Oh, yes. Oops. That's the wall I'm edging it with, by the way. <laughs> that cardigan. Wool warehouse. You get this lovely chiffon bag. Uh, remember I said I was selling away for uh, colours for my nieces for Christmas. And my niece, who doesn't like colour, I decided to choose her. It's Stylecraft Batik or Batik. It's acrylic and wool mixture. It's just 20% wool in it. And um, I decided to pick grey for her because she's a grey and a black and a non sort of colour person. But I thought, well, that's a bit different, isn't it, than grey or black? It's a bit sort of. But it's only a very short length. So it's going to work up more like a tweedy effect. But that will probably be knitted, even though I really don't know whether I can knit it, but I'll try. And for my other niece, it's actually not the colour I thought it was going to be, but I like it anyway. Um, I thought it was going to be more of a teal. But this has turned out to be more of a green. It's the only problem when you can't you have to order online, isn't it? And that's the Serdar wash and wear. If you've never used Serdar wash and wear, it does do what it says on the packet. I've got cardigans upstairs that I made with the wash and wear when I had my shop. And they just look like new. You don't get all that pilling, you know, balling up, whatever you call it. It's not the softest yarn in the world, I will say that, because it's crepe. But it doesn't half wear well, ever so well. And this hasn't got a colour on it. It's shade 0220, oh, I think, yeah. Unless there's a shade on the outside of it. Oh yeah, it's called Kale. I've not seen Kale look in that colour, have you? <laughs> I think Kale's a bit darker, isn't it? That would be dyed Kale, I think. <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping she likes that colour. I'll probably make a, a jacket for her. And I've been asked for a sweater for my younger niece, so that's why I chose that grey round of me. Thought it would make it a little bit more interesting if it's just a, a plain sweater. So that's really all I've got to say to you, really. Except it was a surprise getting that from you, Sharon. Thank you very, very much. And um, I don't know, don't think there's anything else I've got to say to you. <laughs> Um, there's a couple of people, I must remember their names, that I can't answer in the comments. So if you're one of those people, I'm terribly sorry, but every time I post a reply to you, it just says comment failed, and I twiddle it about, and I go back into it, and I revive it, and I reload it, and it still says comment failed. So, I don't mean to ignore you, honestly, I don't mean to ignore you. But I just can't post a, a comment, a reply. Oh, dearie me. Oh, my nose is blocked up. I've still got this blooming cold. So, but at least my eyes have stopped running the same. Anyway, I was going to take some photographs today because it's actually sunny of the things that um, I found yesterday. I think I mentioned to you all these cowls and things I've made. But... It's lovely and sunny, but it didn't have cold out there. I could put my coat on, I suppose, but <laughs> I have to be in the mood for doing photographs. So I think I'll just make myself another cup of coffee, finish off this revamped cardigan that I'm doing, and sew its buttons on. And um, I've got a white cardigan to start for an order, but I'll need to find her some patterns so that she can choose which one she wants. Then apart from that, I've got things to start. Things to start for family for Christmas. Again, I'll have to go in the knitting patterns and have a look. And the crochet patterns and have a look. That's the trouble with, I have so many patterns, so many, that I tend to get a bit overwhelmed, I don't know whether you're the same, 
I get these crochet magazines and I think, oh, that's lovely, and this is lovely. And I get crochet books and that's lovely, this is lovely. And then I forget which ones I thought were lovely. You know, and then I'm thinking, oh. Maybe when I move things into my craft room and I've got more time to myself, I'll actually sort of go through the books and write myself a list of which books got what I like in. Because I spent all day looking for something the other day, some sweater I had in my head. When I finally found it, it wasn't the same as I had it in my head, you know. My head was thinking one thing and the actual one wasn't quite how I imagined it to be or how I'd remembered it to be. So I'd wasted quite a number of hours looking for something that didn't really exist. Um, but I don't know how you keep tab of everything. There must be a, a way, you know, when you've got so many magazines and so many books and, you know, you know you want to make this in that book and that in another book. And then when it comes like today and I'm thinking, what shall I make for my nieces? And I, I, my, blank, my mind's blank. Mind you, that's not hard for me to have a blank mind, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I had a lovely video with Dee, Mosquito Valley Vlog, singing happy birthday to me. She knew she was a day early, but uh, she still wanted to send it to me anyway. I'll play it again tomorrow, Dean, honestly, I will. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I've still got a present to look forward to tomorrow. Oh. Uh, excuse me, what is wrong with you? There's nobody there. Uh, Gigi's barking at nothing. Sky is barking because Gigi's barking, but Sky doesn't know why Gigi's barking. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, both of you. Gigi's getting annoyed now because Sky's getting patted. They are so jealous of each other. You don't bite. He's a monkey. Gigi's a monkey. If Sky's getting any attention, Gigi goes over and bites her leg. Oh, the joys of having three children, even if they're furry ones. <laughs> it's alright, I still love you, Gigi. Even though Sky's just sat on her toe. Seven and a half stone of loveliness sat on my toe. Thank you, darling. You've moved now. <laughs> oh, dear Sky. She's got a poorly eye and it keeps running, haven't you, darling? And she's got a limp as well because she's... I don't know what she did yesterday, but she went with them to the house, so... She was probably lying on the floor and got a bit cold because she got arthritis, poor soul. You're nine, aren't you? You're getting an old girl now. I mean, sadly, a Rottweiler's lifespan's just about nine, ten years, something like that. So she is technically an old lady, aren't you, darling? The family will go mad when you're not here anymore, won't we? We won't know what to do with ourselves. Gigi. Come here and don't bite. Oh, so they're so jealous of each other. Eh? Oh, Sky, thank you. <laughs> Sky has now settled herself onto my chair, which was where Gigi was before. I tell you, these two are so competitive of each other. They sit on the chair together usually. <laughs> My son goes mad when she sits on my chair and looks out. But I can't scold her because she reminds me so much of my late Buster. Because Buster used to spend all day sitting on that chair. And I used to be perched on one little corner of the chair. <laughs> Excuse me, there's nobody to bark at. And uh, I used to be sitting on one little corner and Buster used to be sitting on most of it. He used to make a lovely back rest. <laughs> Bless his little soul. But unfortunately he was incontinent, so he used to have to move eventually because he used to wet me. <laughs> oh, the joys of owning a dog, yeah. 
I must have had the only chair with waterproof cover on it. <laughs> the things you do for lover. He was a beauty. And this little monkey. Somebody was a naughty boy yesterday, weren't they? I don't know why he did, because I offered him to go outside. I don't know how many times you today. And he had a little poo-poo. And of course my son found it, didn't he? I had to look after this dog more and take care of what he's doing. You know, what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so I cat flap for him. <laughs> yes, you were a naughty boy, weren't you? He did a poo-poo on the floor. Luckily he's only a tiny dog, so it was only a tiny little poo-poo, wasn't it? So we'll let him off. He's house trained. Don't know why he did that. He's not done that for ages and ages. He might have done it when I went out, actually, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm waffling, so you probably see me tomorrow because I know she said, that, um, Sue said she was coming this week, so maybe she'll come tomorrow because it's my birthday. It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. No, I won't cry. I won't cry. Although I was watching Teresa simply tweed his uh, uh, beings and she was talking about people being on their own over holiday periods and things like that. I spent many a Christmas on my own actually when I first split up. And it's just a state of mind, you know, if you're having Thanksgiving on your own, it's just a state of mind. Resign yourself to it. Don't get depressed. Go and buy yourself something gorgeous to eat. Nice videos that you love to watch on the TV and stuff like that. And just pamper yourself, you know. If you're allowed to have chocolates, get a box of chocolates. If you like a little drink of wine, get some wine. Just have a day. You know, loneliness really is a state of mind. It is really. I've been through all stages of it. I went through the feeling sorry for myself, woe is me, I'm on my own and everybody else is in a party. Went through all that. And you have to come out the other side because you have to think. I remember one Christmas I was on my own, feeling very, very sorry for myself. And then, I don't know whether you remember that Bob Geldof uh, got everybody together with that song, Do They Know It's Christmas? I think they were collecting money for Ethiopia and places like that. Quite a long time ago now. And they were showing all these pictures of all these like starving children and everything. And I'm sitting there, feeling sorry for myself with a box of chocolates and a glass of wine. And I thought, you selfish beggar, you know. You're moaning because you sat here on your own. Look at those poor people. They'd love to be sitting on their own in your house with a roof, <laughs> heating on, you know. So after that, I sort of resigned and had a different thought pattern, thinking, you know, okay, so you're on your own. Okay, it's not the end of the world, you know. I mean, fortunately now, I, I now go to my um, my late brother's house uh, for Christmas Day. I don't stay all day, just, but I like to see the little ones opening the presents and that. Because to me, Christmas is all about little ones, isn't it, about little children? It's not to me about all this partying and getting roaring drunk and stuff like that. It's not, that's not Christmas. Christmas to me is like, well, we used to go to church, watch the nativity, things like that. And, um, you know, watch the children opening the presents. Well, in my case, a child. But then I had two nieces, so I used to watch them open their presents as well. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Being together as a family and everything. But if it isn't, you know, if it is for whatever circumstances, you can't be with your family. I mean, for three Christmases, my uh, son was in Spain, you know. So I didn't get to see him on Christmas Day at all. Um, but you just have to make the best of it, don't you? <laughs> I'm on a soapbox here, I'm preaching like a preacher here, aren't I? <laughs> and I'm not that religious. I mean, I am religious in a way, but I'm not that religious, you know. That, um, you know. And I certainly wouldn't preach at anybody who doesn't believe in anything, because that's your prerogative. Yeah. I must 
must be being very reflective. It's probably because I'm 17 tomorrow. <laughs> Told you, I'm counting it backwards. I'm 17 tomorrow. And upon that note, I'm going to say goodbye from me, goodbye from little Gigi, goodbye from Sleeping Poppy, and goodbye from Sky, who is guarding the street on my chair. And as for what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish off this cardigan, look for a pattern for knitting for my youngest niece, because it will take me the longest time to do that. And uh, in the meantime, look for a pattern for the lady for the white cardigan crochet for her. So once again, Sharon, thank you very, very much for my gift of my necklace. And my, oops, I can't pick it up. My wreath. I think they call them a wreath, don't they? Wreaths are not just for funerals, are they? It's a, it's a wreath, isn't it? Christmas. Christmas with a difference, it's nice and purpley. <laughs> but I'm still going to find room to put the red and green one up. Yeah, I will do that. So thanks all. Bye everybody. Have a nice day. Bye now.